Hi, welcome to Can of Spader Christmas. In this episode, I'm going to build a mate. A matrix. At Christmas Expo, I ordered a three inch chroma mesh from Biscoyo Studio. So it's three inches between pixels. It's a huge uh, four by eight ish sheet of some plastic like substance. Uh, it's clear, has um, UV protection on one side and you just insert pixels to it and then it's in the shape of a rectangle so you can make a matrix out of it or you can model a matrix out of it. It holds 512 pixels so I decided to use a full uh, differential receiver because I'm setting up a F48 this year one full four port uh, differential receiver. So that's four strings of 128 pixels. So each string will get its own controller port. I have 100 pixels here. I have 100 pixels here. I need this one to be 108, 128 pixels. And so I'll take them from here. But I need to get to the end of this one first. So I'll unwrap it all. I want to save some of the pigtails, so I'll cut about there. I bought some of this uh, clear mesh that it's got three inches in between. It comes with this backing on the sun side and I wrote sun here and then there's another clear backing. So you need to remove those before you put your pixels in there and I'll do that now. So the, the white side has the, uh, the UV protection on it so it should be facing the sun. Now when you get all this off, it looks like a little snake skin um not really sure what you can do with this i'm sure many of you have noticed my jig here for holding the chroma mesh in place while i put the pixels inside of it now before you pull your wallets out uh, this is just a prototype the main frame of it is a one inch pvc electrical conduit very high strength as you can see uh, as a supporting member on the side here, we've got a fiberglass six foot, 300 pound load capacity ladder uh, to kind of hold it in place. We have this uh, system of tie straps to kind of hold the frame up. And, and then as you can see, we've got, we've got the chroma mesh here zip tied up to this framing piece and then for a little added strength we've added a pool pole tie wrapped to the top to give us a little more strength in the center because these pixels will get a little heavy and then over on this side i have a steel pole supporting member with a clamp and then another tie strap here on this side and as you can see the strength of that PVC is just amazing. So how do you know how to wire this thing up? Where, where do you start? Upper left, upper right, bottom left, bottom right, where, where do you start? Center? If you open X lights, click on the layout tab, click on the model, so I chose four strings, four connections to the controller. 
of 128 nodes per string. Right click and go to wiring view. Now you may have to expand the window to see the actual numbers and remember this is looking at it from the back. After I got the first string or the first, the, the bottom row of pixels in, um, it was extremely difficult to press those in. And so I adapted, I overcame, and well, here's my solution. All right, so here I'll try and show you what's going on. So if you look, the head on that pixel is much larger than the hole and so if you just try and screw it in it just shaves the end of that head off so I'm using one of these it's a reamer basically a deburring tool but uh, and so I'm just you see that I'm just taking off a little bit not a whole lot if you go too much then it's too loose and it won't stick in there but you just take a little bit out and I mean that's holding on there good so that's the process that I'm going to use for the rest of this and hopefully these pixels will go in a lot faster and a lot easier my technique for doing this is I'm going to just kind of put my finger on the end of this so it'll stop when I when I want it to stop so I'll do the first one I know about how far I want to go and then the rest of them I'll just use my finger as the guide. Don't stop there. I'm not really taking much off at all, just a little bit. Oh, your pixels may be different. You may not have to do this, so don't just do this right away if you don't need to. Um, I would use a tool like this because it's, it's made for doing um, uh, kind of reaming out holes. I hope you enjoyed that build of the matrix. Now I have the task of sequencing or adding it to the sequences for the show. And so I'll do that over the next couple of weeks. Normally I will just take off Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of Thanksgiving week and set the whole show up. But I was looking at the weather, uh, the, the extended weather forecast, and I think it's going to get potentially bad toward Thanksgiving. So I'm going to just start this coming weekend, start setting things up. I'm going to get as much as I can get done this weekend, and then we will see how far it gets. If I can get some stuff done after work, great. But uh, hopefully everything will be set up by that, that Monday or so, and then I can just kind of play with everything. I will probably have quite a bit of, of changes to make just because I'm starting over with a new controller and all that kind of stuff this year. Should be a fun video. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.